The people who aren't wealthy is because they don't own nothing. You only have your money sitting in cash. If your money is just sitting in cash, realistically, you're becoming poorer every day. Some people actually fear success. Mm. Success comes with a lot, right? But until you can overcome that average reality that you live in, no matter what you're on, once you become comfortable there, it becomes average. Anyone can live in average. Everyone can live in mediocrity, right? Then there's those outliers who consistently push themselves to go to the next level. Knowledge is what gives us leverage in life. It's not about how strong you are. It's about what you can learn. And then how can you actively apply that? The more money they print, the more money that money loses value. It's the reason why the bank wants you to have your money there. So they can take it and use it and invest <laughs> it so much and be like, hey, it's just sitting, I'm gonna give you 50 cents on whatever you had in there. Right. And so the idea of ownership was, yo, we can just start owning everything that we, no matter if it, just a stock. Like that's powerful because if you can start owning the businesses that you now consume every day, you turn a one-time transaction to a lifetime of profit. And that was major for me because if I go to the store and buy a pair of Nikes, that's a one-time transaction. In order for me to get something from them again, I got to come back and buy another pair of Nikes. But if I own the Nike stock, long as I own it, it's a profitable um, vehicle for me. So that one-time transaction be can become a lifetime of profit if I own that business. If I'm going to buy Apple, if I know I'm an Apple user, if I know I got the phone, I got the AirPods, I got the MacBook, I got the PC, I got I excited when Apple's about to drop something, why wouldn't I own it? So you say wealthy people stop trading time for money, they start making their money work for them and they give value to as much value to people as they can. The caveat, I mean, you know, we got a little deep into that. He said, the reason why you give people so much value. Whatever actions you take today leads to the results two years down the road. So in other words, don't, don't choose today's treasure over tomorrow's fortune.